Hello and welcome back. Today I'm working on this vintage Tudor watch, which is missing its crown and covered in scratches and marks. So we'll start by removing the two clamps that are holding the movement in place. and flip the watch over in order to remove the case. We'll then remove the hands. And extract the movement ring. We can then loosen the dull feet screws and remove the dial. Remove the hour wheel, the cannon pinion, and the minute wheel. Flip the watch over and remove the balance. And then cut the power. And remove the ratchet wheel screw. And then the ratchet wheel. Before moving on to the crown wheel. And then the click. We can then loosen the screws holding down the barrel bridge and remove the bridge. Loosen the two screws for the train bridge. Remove the barrel and the remaining parts of the train. As well as the pallets. We can now remove the stem, and then strip down the keyless. We can now remove the base plate balance jewel and clean up all the jewels within the base plate. Refit the balance cock and remove the balance jewel. Open up the barrel. Remove the barrel lava. Take out the mainspring. and then clean all the movement parts in a cleaning machine. Once everything's cleaned, we'll then remove the balance cock again. And start reassembling the keyless.
we're now going to remove the old part of the crown that had broken onto the stem. This will then allow us to fit a replacement crown. And then refit the stem with the winding and sliding pinions in place. And then grease everything up. Next we'll grease the barrel and fit the mainspring, which has now been cleaned and wound up. We'll grease the barrel larbor and fit it in place. Before greasing the cap and pressing down. With the barrel in place, we can then fit the barrel bridge. And then fit all the train wheels in place. before fitting the train bridge. With the bridges in place, I'll then fit the click before fitting the crown wheel and then the ratchet wheel Make sure all the jewels within the train are oiled. And with everything moving smoothly, we'll then fit the pallets. Oil the ballots and then fit the balance. We can now move on to oiling the balance jewels. before carefully fitting them in place. We'll then grease and fit the cannon pinion. 
the minute wheel. And then the hour wheel. We'll then loosen the dull feet screws again before fitting the dial. And tightening the screws up again. We can now set and fit the hands. and then turn our attention to finishing the case. With the case all polished up and a new glass found, we can get everything assembled. Here I'm just fitting the bezel with my fingers, but that will be pressed down later. We'll then remove the stem and crown, and then fit it into the case. Put the movement ring in place and refit the stem and crown. Fit the two clamps. Before checking the fitting of the crown, and then taking it out and applying a little bit of Loctite onto the thread to secure it in place. And then fit the case back. Sadly, I don't have any more footage, including putting the new strap onto the watch, but I do have some pictures of the finished article. And as always, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, please do leave a like, and I will see you again, hopefully very soon.